Good morning, everybody. We're we're about to make uh, a new painting today of this uh, pretty new bridge over the uh, what we call Nahal Amud, this uh, river that goes from uh, Zefad uh, into the uh, Sea of Galilee. It's a beautiful day. It's hot, 27 uh, Celsius outside. Excellent for painting. So let's start. Beautiful light uh, over there. I will try to catch it. All these uh, diagonals and vertical lines. It's pretty uh, interesting to uh, to catch it and to do something with it. So see how we can make a painting out of this. Here's the uh, the mountains at the background. Very nice. So we just have uh, the sky. Nothing in the sky. We'll do something there, and just the uh, the light beams here. Maybe I'll miss one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter so much. What's important is what you make out of the painting, not what in front of you. This is just something to start with. But really the painting is about the painting. It's about how you can enjoy make it interesting that's it nothing else I know most people they they try to be accurate with the drawing uh, which is okay it's a good idea to base on the drawing but for me I just want to get some hints about what, what's in front of me and then let the brush and the paint do the rest. Just to paint is to have fun, really. To say something about it, um, but, but enjoy. This is very important to enjoy. Okay. Not much for the drawing. I probably, as I used to do, I add some birds on the sky. So everybody know this is a sky. If it were the sea, I would put some. I would put some fish, right? It's pretty hot today. Make something here. Not always based on the um, the actual landscape that I see. The sky is really boring today. Like nothing. It's a hazy day, kind of. So we think about how to make an interesting painting and the haziness of the day we want to use it and to make something more picturesque as they say You know, every painting is, is a, some kind of a journey that you 
you start somehow and you you want to make it uh, interesting for you to paint and interesting for the person who's looking at your painting if you see some noise at the background it's the heavy trucks that are passing by over the bridge So I'm working uh, upside down, it makes some interesting uh, <laughs> Yes, I should I should I should finish my uh, sentences. in order to make it more communicative. I tend to think that everybody is uh, understand what I'm talking about, but maybe not so, because you're not here. So these are two diagonal lines that goes from the uh, bridge it's interesting this this uh, this diagonal and this diagonal and this vertical lines and let's put it a little bit like this that the water goes down this I like I like what is, is sometimes uh, left of the from the brush which gives an uh, interesting uh, texture to the paper and to the painting, and maybe I'll use it later. In a hot day, I should get uh, dry pretty quick. this the tree in front of us just in front of a bridge I'll give kind of a, a hint to this that's why I remember that I want to put it in I'll go back to this later on some some more little bit warm values here but not that much you know the, in Israel the Sun is so strong it burns the colors Here we have this really burnt sienna burnt sienna here put some some blue into this just to make it interesting so this is really the first wash I would like to cover the paper 
and to find out, to give myself what I would say impulsive ideas about what's going on. This, yeah. Is that in the better days when there is rain, water should run here. But we are March already. No rain in the forecast. So now we see the basic idea of the of the painting. I put some more blue under the bridge just to connect it to the, uh, the sky just a little bit. The sky. This is this is the the pole. In the sky. How are we doing up there? How are we doing up there? I think this this part will be a bit darker and with the uh, with the mountains at the background, this part will be darker. So it will be two poles, kind of. So I nailed the shadows. Now we can let it dry somehow. Okay, we let the painting uh, dry a little bit. So we can go second layer, see how we can develop it. friends here. And you paint outdoor. Some friends are coming to visit.
Try to connect it. The sun moves, so in the morning I put the uh, the marks for the drawing, for the for the shadow. And then I leave it like this. It doesn't matter if the uh, the sun moves. No problem. I keep with my painting. Shadow here. to break it a little bit. Okay, let's go back to the mountains. Eventually it will uh, get lighter by time, it goes backwards. Then I have this interesting gap, the space between the bridge, the mountain and the, uh, the sky here. And this is what I want to show. The idea of the composition. That's the idea, nothing else. It doesn't have to be as if deeper or whatever you call it, you know. This is what it is. A painting. To give some texture. Go back to this. This tree at the end. Okay, let me put some green here. We are outdoor. We want to see green. Milk, honey, and green country. This is Israel.
So all these whites here, I'll put some shadow underneath to make them as rocks to give it some kind of uh, information a little bit. Here we have on the right side, on the left side actually. We have this shell of the tree it goes to the valley a little bit. Later on I put something here to close this corner. There's a lot of room for uh, inventions in watercolor. You look at something, you want to put it in, you do, you see if it's good or not. But don't be afraid to take risks, you know, it's... This is what makes the painting interesting. I guess like this. So this is a little bit to break it. Maybe here's something. Let's take it in this. This is this paint here. I don't even think about this area at all. Thing goes here. So I'll do something here. See, there are some interesting. You know, when I when I do a small things, I try to make uh, to use big brush. Big brush makes better small lines. I know it sounds, I know. In this area, there are a lot of cows. And I saw donkeys also, not so far away. White rock or rocks. Because of the diagonal goes this way, and I was thinking about these strong shadows here. I'm going to do something more abstract here. So it will give you some balance. 
this side compared to this side. Now let's put this don't really want to paint this tree just to give an idea of this dark spot at the center of the painting now a little shadow that falls here not too much impressionistic you know impressionistic shadow means purple not too much here, just a little bit, a little bit. My childhood hero was uh, Van Gogh, or Van Gogh. So always when I go out, paint outdoor, I take Van Gogh with me somehow. Yeah, it gives some uh, some uh, information in front and brings the uh, the uh, bridge go back. I take these poles here a little bit. This white dots will give some uh, interesting uh, structure. Information a little bit in the sky. Sure, I'll put the birds soon. But this I want to bring another tree from Isaiah. We are pretty much about uh, to finish this uh, short demo of the bridge Maybe do something more uh, distinct stronger it's necessary just to just to
has to be more I prepare this paint has to be more towards here yellow it a little bit yes, to break it somehow re-evaluating things here as I'm about to uh, finish the painting so I look at it I check what bothers my eye if at all if at all. Yes, some birds in the sky. Yesterday I saw so many cranes here. They're just going back to Europe. Thank you for watching. It was a short demo of uh, painting this pretty new bridge in the upper part of uh, the north part of Israel. Um, I would like to invite you to join uh, this uh, channel and to watch my uh, videos and see you in the next uh, video.